versus SWAC champion Alcorn State. Their third meeting and five celebration bowls. And it's time to get it on. for TM Video here with John Grant, the Executive Director of the Celebration Bowl. First of all, congratulations, the fifth Celebration Bowl. We're here, it's live. Tell me about how, the, how things have gone so far. It's been an exciting lead up to this game. I mean, I don't think we could have had a great, better season for HBCU football. And for it to come down to these two teams, you know, claiming their conference championship, meeting here in Atlanta, Playing for a national championship in the Celebration Bowl, we could not have asked for anything better. Any predictions for the game? The champion will rise. That's our best prediction. These teams are coming in evenly matched. So it's going to be, I think, who, who plays the better game, the more perfect game, will come away the winner this year. Well, I want to tell you again, congratulations. Good luck for a continued success for the Celebration Bowl. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go, Aggies. Commissioner Dr. Dennis Thomas, Commissioner of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Dr. Thomas, we're here at the fifth Celebration Bowl. Tell me how you think it's going so far, and what do you think about the progress of this event? Well, I think it's going, uh, it's going good. I, uh, uh, the game has been phenomenal, and I think the reason why it's been so competitive is because you have a champion from each conference. The fans are continuously embracing this event, not only locally, but from each institution. And I think that corporate America is also buying into uh, the Celebration Bowl. Obviously, ESPN is doing an excellent job in promoting the bowl and ensuring that both teams, student athletes, coaches, are having a bowl-like experience. And this is absolutely tremendous. Uh, for the SWAC and the PI, and for HBCU football. Now, in terms of the game itself today, what kind of game are you expecting? Well, I think the game is going to go down to the last series. As a, as a previous one? Uh, absolutely. And I think that that's going to be the case here. I think turnovers are going to play a, a critical part in this game and the kicking game. And uh, talk, tell us a little about, you, we, we talked about it a little earlier, tell us about your history in terms of not only being the commissioner of the BIAC, but also being a graduate of Alcorn State. Absolutely. I graduated from Alcorn, and uh, I played football at Alcorn. I coached at Alcorn. And I have a family history. My uh, grandfather, my mother's father, graduated from Alcorn in 1915. My mother graduated. I have a sister that graduated, aunt that graduated. So it's a family tradition to uh, to support Alcorn State University. That's wonderful. I want to let everybody know that Dr. Thomas this year has been honored with not only a selection to the SWAC Alumni Hall of Fame, but is being inducted this year into the Black College Football Hall of Fame. Well, I want to you. say congratulations for that. Thank you very much, Luke. I'm very honored and humbled uh, by my selection. And, he, and he's being honored for his playing career as well as his career as an administrator and now as the commissioner of MEAC. So again, congratulations. Thank you very much, Luke. Thank you. And thank you for all that you do. Well, glad to do it. Okay. Lute Williams for TEM Sports. Absolutely honored to be representing the MEAC again here uh, as MEAC champs, co-champs this year, but nonetheless to be here representing the university and the conference. And, and, and what does it mean for a and to be coming back to a bowl game, getting this kind of exposure? It is, does, it have a, does it have an impact on like attracting students and, and uh, applicants to the university? Year over year, applications go up. Uh, alumni are more excited to write more checks and bigger checks. So both applications and fundraising are in fact visibility and reputation of the university continues to gain national visibility because of the TV ratings for the football games. 
Well, look, congratulations you. for being here again. Thank Good you. luck today. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. you. from a &T quarterback Khalil Carter to three different receivers. The Aggies lead 24 to 10, but last year the Aggies led 21 to 6 at the break before Alcorn State came back to make it a game. So stay tuned for an exciting second half.
this has been a T-E-M video production.